here. <laughs> oh, okay. That's that's perfect. Um, well, it's kind of about the topic about the Bible as compared to other books, you know? Like, which one is the highest form of, you know, knowledge of the truth? But anyway, the quote says, Furthermore, not only do we find that people cannot see the divine plan in studying the Bible by itself, but we see also that if anyone lays the studies in the scriptures aside, even after he has used them, after he has become familiar with them, after he has read them for 10 years, if he then lays them aside and ignores them and goes to the Bible alone, though he has had understanding for 10 years, our experience shows that within two years he goes into darkness. On the other hand, if he had merely read studies in the scriptures with their references and had not read a page of the Bible as such, he would be in the light at the end of the two years because he would have the light of the scriptures. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, the Bible really is ideal if you get your hands on a Bible to read that. Yeah, but do you think it's better than that studies in the scriptures that he was talking about? Well, Bible study aids are helpful, but really they all point to the Bible, so the Bible should be yeah. What do you the, think? The what do you, one that you, you view there. Isn't it kind of an arrogance to say that someone's going to go in darkness if you stop reading their book? Uh, I mean, that they really should accept that reading the Bible is, is acceptable. Other books are helpful, but the Bible is really, if that's all you're reading, that, that's good. Yeah, I mean, the Bible itself says um, it's sufficient, doesn't it, you know? talks about Timothy even learned about the uh, it could make him wise unto salvation and it's it's sufficient well, it's like in Timothy 316 oh, right. all scripture mm -hmm. is inspired and beneficial yeah yeah um, that we may become perfect and mature in Christ um, but anyways um, this is interesting because this was Charles Taze Russell that said this okay well that, that was I mean quite a while ago. I could have you talk to someone else if that might be of more help. <laughs> oh no, I'm you're great. Really you're great. It's great. Person here. Oh, well, you're all like ministers, right? Which is awesome. So you're a, you're a qualified minister, but um anyways, this they kind of continued on with this idea even with Rutherford. He had this um thing in um the Watchtower about selling um, books. They have these little booklets, and he said that um, here's the different topics that they are. They, they used to sell them, um, but he said each can be read in just 15 minutes, and more genuine satisfaction and profitable pleasure derived therefrom in that length of time than can be gotten from studying the Bible by yourself in a whole year. Well, it depends on whether you're understanding and meditating what you're reading in the Bible. But yeah. if you understand it, the Bible is is ideal, and aids can help you understand. Yeah, he's it, not presenting it as an aid. He's present. He's saying you can get more satisfaction and profit from one of his books. And and, and remember, he th this is him talking about his own books. It just seems a little okay. arrogant, you yeah. know. I'd have to read more into it to know the the proper response there, but. Ideally, the Bible is, is where you should turn. Oh, I wonder if they changed that because there's also on the website, it says, um, no matter how much Bible reading you do, you cannot progress along the road to life unless you're in touch with the channel. That means the Watchtower what, organization. What website are you looking at? Are you looking at ours, uh, jw.org? Yeah, yeah. Well, I hadn't. I don't have it up right now. Um, can you wait a minute so I could find it? It just takes a second. Um, I, I the exact do have reference. Other things to do today. Let me see if I can get you someone else on the phone real quick. Okay. Just well, a it's moment. okay. Thank you. God bless. Hello? Oh yeah, great. I was just um, I was asking her about the Jehovah's Witnesses' view on the relative value of the Bible, say, as compared to the publications. Okay. Well, of course, uh, the Bible is, uh, you know, the last, it's the Word of God, 2 Timothy 3, 16. And, uh, you know, the publicate, the Bible is infallible. The publications, you know, the, they, uh, you know, 
know, they uh, use the Bible to, you know, give us a understanding. However, you know, sometimes things change, so they're not. It's not like the Bible where it's infallible. So we have had, uh, you know, updated views on different things, but it's all, you know, based on what the Bible says. So. Yeah, um, I, I was just wondering what she thought about this quotation. Um, you know, it's good to examine the origins of things. So so just because it's old, it doesn't mean it's not important. You know, like Constantine. But anyway, um, could I run this by you, this quote? I just re- found it really interesting. Yeah. It says, not only do we find that people cannot see the divine plan in studying the Bible by itself, but we see also that if anyone lays the scripture studies, that's what studies in the scriptures used to be called. If anyone lays the scripture studies aside, even after he has used them, after he's become familiar with them and read them for 10 years, if he lays them aside and ignores them and goes to the Bible alone, though he has understood his Bible for 10 years, our experience shows that within two years, he goes into darkness. On the other hand, If he had merely read the scripture studies with their references and had not read a page of the Bible as such, he would be in the light at the end of two years because he would have the light of the scriptures. I mean, it's kind of an amazing claim for Russell to make about his own books, isn't it? That's true, but, uh, you know, as far as a group, and it wasn't just Russell. He he even gave credit to other people that uh, you know had uh, come to re- realization of Bible truths that are uh, in the Bible that you know had basically uh, been you know kind of uh, hidden, not hidden, but you know people started adopting views of. Uh, Greek philosophers, you know, like the immortality of the soul, uh, hellfire. Uh, so those doctrines, it wasn't just, you know, starting with Brother Russell, but even before that, it, different individuals uh, began to come to a more accurate knowledge of what the Bible teaches. So, you know, and uh, the book of Proverbs says the light keeps getting brighter and brighter till the day is firmly established. So, you know, we're, we're confident that... Uh, you know, the Bible speaks in the last days, or the faithful and discreet slave will give his belongings what they need. So we're, I don't know, most religions I talk to certainly feel we're living in the last days. You know, we look at the, what the Bible has said, so I'm confident that uh, God has made sure that uh, there is an arrangement where we can learn the truth. And uh, I am fully convinced that, uh, you know, my association with Jehovah's Witnesses and their beliefs are based on the Bible. And, uh, I, I think the part know. is really interesting where it says um, people cannot see the divine plan in studying the Bible by itself. I That's the part I really agree with <laughs> because the uh, kind of collage of scriptures they put together to come to these dates like 1914 and 1919 and a date like 607 which no one no no one really agrees with that for the destruction of Jerusalem. I mean, you know, from from Bible scholars, uh, a lot from, of that, like the date of six oh seven, that's based on Bible chronology, and I'm sure you agree that you know even if you look at what other archaeologists say, they don't agree with each other. So oh, there's wide know, agreement. Dates, there's but, wi- uh, very wide agreement on on not that date, but but anyway, but what but what I mean is when. Uh, I agree that you cannot see the divine plan studying the Bible by itself. Um, that we would, you know, scholars would call that, Bible scholars would call that secret knowledge, a claim to secret knowledge. Well, we, we have nothing secret. You can uh-huh. go on our website, jw.org. No, 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 no. I don't. All yeah. We're not a, you know what I'm saying? We're not a secret society. Yeah, no, 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 no. I didn't Every mean that. Out there if you want to look yeah. at it. No, I didn't you mean, know, so. I didn't, sorry, I didn't. That's just the word secret. When right. you claim secret knowledge, like all little, uh, groups like like this um, claim secret knowledge you know like mormonism they claim secret knowledge also meaning that you you can only right. get it through them so well, they're, they're uh, trust even... me, we, there's no there's no uh, golden magic glasses that we look at the bible through like the mormons teach you know they get some stuff that's if you look into i, I didn't it, say you, you know, had glasses i said sa- tablets that mysteriously yeah. got lost you know what i'm saying we, we don't we just use the bible it's there for anyone you know to look at you could 
Um, you know, and to me, if you have questions about our beliefs, uh, that uh, reference the JW Org website, you know, you're able to, you know, on your own, uh, you know, compare the beliefs of Jehovah's Witnesses with, you know, what the Bible teaches. Yeah, I, when you said um, you, you don't have glasses, that's not what I meant. I meant the claim that he's saying, which they still say. You know, there's even a quote on the website that says you can't progress on, on the road to life by reading the Bible on your own unless you're in touch with the channel. They call it the channel. Well, look, look, in, look in the first century. Remember the uh, Ethiopian eunuch? How could I really learn the truth unless someone explained it to yeah, me? He wasn't, Philip got in the, yeah, he wasn't... Yeah, Philip wasn't just some independent Bible reader, right? He was associated with the congregation in Jerusalem. So if you look at the first century congregation, right, there wasn't independent Bible-minded people all on their own. They were in a group. They were being directed by the older men in Jerusalem that made up the governing body. And that's the same, you know, um, kind of organizational structure that we have. Yeah, right? they... I mean, they, they, they met in congregations. They got direction. If you look in Acts, the 15th chapter. Yeah. They, so that was, are you saying... I, 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 you know, are, 500 independent Bible readers, they were part of an organization. Philip, who helped the Ethiopian eunuch, he was part of that organization, him and his daughters. Are, when you said governing so body... I really feel that, you know... You said governing, Bible, you said Spirit, governing yeah, body? It can help us as individuals. The Bible doesn't use the expression governing body. Own. Excuse me. The Bible doesn't use the expression governing body. And if you read Acts 15, you'll see that a council is when people come from far and wide. And some councils actually continued after that later. They would call it a council, like the Council of Nicaea and some others. Um, well, you're, that you're was talking, not... You're going, Pat, you're, once all the apostles are gone, sure. And you know, one of, you know who sat at one of those councils? Constantine wasn't even baptized, was a pagan. He didn't he have any influence. The church at that time. No, he did not. You need to so research he that. He didn't get baptized when he, when he died. Yeah, they did not you consider know, he him. Killed his, he killed his son, he killed his wife. Uh, he did some terrible things. Oh, um, so, yeah, I'm very. If you read X15, you know, history, I'm very familiar with. If you with read X15, well, <laughs> I think you're getting it from the Watchtower. But if you read X15 carefully, you'll see it was not a standing body that was like had business meetings every week and such. It was the elders came, leaders came, apostles came, other men, and it was also held publicly. You can intuit that from reading about the Jerusalem Council. It was not a standing right, group. But they, but they set direction out, right? They made a letter. They did, because... what their decision was, and the congregations abided. Yeah, there was still actually so, living apostles. Anyway, it's, it's been nice talking to yeah, you. Yeah, you like too. I, said, I encourage you to look at the JW website. Oh, I do, like I, I do. No secret of information, you know, we're, yeah. uh, we're open, you know. Secret so. knowledge isn't uh, really mean you know, you're, you have a secret. Secret knowledge just means you, you can only channel it through the organization. And the Bible will not even, um, you know, show someone the way of salvation by, by grace alone, through faith alone, like it says. But anyway, hey, thanks so much for talking. Right. Okay, have God, a good day. God bless Bye. you. Bye.